Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be explaining can you succeed as a solo Roblox game developer, okay? People ask me this question a lot, alright? People worry about being solo dev a lot as well, alright? And I know a lot of you guys actually are solo devs, you make your games all on your own. There's nothing wrong with that, alright? Don't feel bad, uh, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, and actually, solo developers can be successful, okay? I'll explain why, I'll explain you, um, I'll explain how. I'll, I'll even show you guys some, okay? I'll show you a bunch, actually. And um, I'll also be explaining, you know, if you actually should have a team, or if you shouldn't, alright? Because I think some people should and some people shouldn't. You know, it's different for each person, but yeah. I'll help you decide, uh, you know, if you need one or not. Anyways, uh, it's gonna be an interesting video. I'm excited to make this. Um, personally, honestly, I develop a lot of games by myself as well. Uh, more recently, I've been hiring people for to do stuff. You know what I mean? But um, you know, I was I was a solo dev once as well, so it definitely works. But anyways, all right. Um, also, be sure to leave a like on this video. It helps you out and subscribe for more uh, like Roblox game development videos like this one. All right. Anyways, let's get started. All right. So put simply, can you succeed as a solo dev? Yes. Okay. Obviously, yes. All right. Um, you definitely can. But it will be a lot harder, right? Now, um, I'll, I'll, I'll actually put out like the pros and cons toward the end. Um, but it requires obviously a lot more work because you have to do everything on your own, right? So as you can see, I put on the right here everything you have to do in it for a game, okay? So you're gonna have to do scripting, the front end, back end, everything else. You have to do the building, you know what I mean? 3D modeling, blender, terrain. You gotta do the R, you gotta make the GFX, you gotta make the game pass designs, you gotta make the animations, you gotta make the, like, the sound effects, everything. I mean, you have to do literally everything, right? So it's a lot more work, it's way bigger, of a workload, I guess, because obviously you have a lot more stuff. But you know, if you had a team, a lot of the work could be delegated. You know what I mean? And and honestly, if you have a team, a lot of times they can do stuff better than you. You know what I mean? Because like, for example, right? Let's say you're a scripter, okay? Uh, you you're you, you're good at scripting, and that's what you specialize in, right? Someone else who specializes in building is probably a better builder than you, right? I mean, it's just obvious, right? If you if someone else is a scripter and they're a builder, you know, the the the, the builder is probably going to be a better builder, right? Because that's what they do. That's what they mainly do, right? Um, so yeah. So not only will you actually actually have to spend time learning how to do building, or you you know what I mean, you're gonna have to spend time doing it, and then you might not do as great of a job as someone who already is a builder, and you know is that's what they specialize in. You know what I mean? So yeah, um, but you know you can still do a good job. Sometimes you don't need like a super build intensive game, so you can still do a good job sometimes. But just um, sometimes you can as well. So yeah. Anyways, that's why it's good to consider a team. That's one reason why at least. All right, now let me actually guys show you. Um, let me show you guys some successful games made by one person. All right. So literally, this is just the front page. I literally clicked on the front page yesterday when, I, well, yesterday when I set this up, okay? And this is what I saw, all right? All these games, okay? This is the popular page. As you can see, the f top game made by one person. Real high. Okay, Real high actually wasn't made by one person. It was made by a few people, but that one person gets all the percentage, right? So I'm pretty sure it started off as one person, though. So I'm, I'm counting that, right? Uh, so if it, starts off as one per if it starts off as one person, then that means it's one person, but then later on they hire people because they make a lot of money. You know what I mean? So I'm, I am counting if, you know multiple people later on but if it started off as one person and it got successful as one person that's what that's what i count as one person so yeah okay so yeah royal high actually does have other devs now but it actually originally started off as one girl i'm pretty sure um so yeah also piggy you know what i mean that's one person as well i'm pretty sure um i'm pretty sure he hired other people now but you know um piggy was started off as one person which was mini soon i'm pretty sure um so yeah and then murder mystery i know is for sure one person made by nicholas um i think that's how you say his name um he made that game all by himself you know, one person, right? So as you can see, literally almost every other game on the front page is made by one person, all right? That's not bad at all. My restaurant is made by two people. Jailbreak made by two people. So as you can see, you know, you don't, you don't need to have a huge team to make a successful Roblox game, right? You definitely don't at all. So, yeah. Uh, let me actually guys, let me show you guys uh, how much money these games made just to show you that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can make a lot as a, as, a, as a solo dev, right? So as you can see right here, welcome to Vloxburg, made about uh 400 million robux off just sales off buying the game right and then it made about 1.4 million usd if you convert that to usd and then from game passes it made about 11 million usd um from game passes right so and this is just like one person right literally this guy gets all of that money all like all of that money goes just just him and actually i'm pretty sure he did hire some people now for do to doing builder later on but i think it's maybe by just co-op this right just by don't just have a group or anything like that um but like I said, a lot of people start off as solo devs, and then once the game becomes once the game becomes successful, what they'll do is they use the money they made to hire other people because they can do uh, you know they can build better than them or whatever or do whatever better than them. So they hire them, and they have an even better game. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, um, it just makes sense. Okay, so that's Coeptus, Yeah, and um, I'll show you some other games real quick if it will load. You have, for example, uh, like Royal High. 
made by one person. Murder Mystery 2, this was definitely made by one person. I know it was. Nicholas, yeah, there it is. Um, as you can see, a, he made about a billion rows from that, 3.5 million USD. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. And obviously, they made a lot more than this. This is just off Game Passes, right? Um, so the, this guy made all this money and more because of game for, because of dev products. And then, you know what I mean? Um, and then... <laughs> and then you pay taxes on it after, but that's that's different. Yeah, everyone pays taxes. Um, so if you you know if you don't know what DevX is, it's basically where you can like exchange your money um, back to you give it back to Roblox, and they'll give you money in return for it to kind of stabilize their economy or whatever. And also gives devs an incentive to make games, right? So yeah, if you don't know what DevX is, that's what it is. Anyways, um, so as you can see, there are a lot of popular games by only one person, right? So that's pretty cool. Also a bit inspiring, right? And I hope it makes you realize that, you know, you don't even have a huge team just to make a Roblox game, right? Now, but I'm going to go ahead and explain why actually it's sometimes good to have a team right now, here in a second. <clears throat> Jeez. Okay. Um, anyways, uh, let's, go, let's go to the next slide. All right, so here's some pros and cons of being a solo dev. And actually, I really should have added one more right here, okay? Uh, cons right here, probably the biggest con is that you lose, or no, the biggest pro like, I guess, okay, what am I saying? Okay, the biggest pro of being a solo dev, honestly, in my opinion, is you make all the money. Actually, I did add it right here. What am I saying? All right, you make all of the money, okay? <laughs> and I know none of things about money, right? But when it comes down to it, it is nice to, you know, have, I guess, more money, right? But let me read them off, okay? So as you can see here, uh, pros versus cons of being a solo dev, right? So if pros, all right, the game is exactly how you want it, right? Everything is how is in your liking. That's pretty cool. Um, you make all the money, also pretty cool. And no one tells you what to do, right? So no one's in your ear saying, oh, do this, do this, do this. Um, no, I want it this way. You don't have to argue with anyone, you know, explaining how you want it this way and why you should have it this way, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to argue with anyone about anything uh, on the game, right? So that's pretty cool as well. Um, no one rushes you, right? No one's saying, hey, I need this done right now. I need this done, I need this done. And also... You don't have to wait for anyone, right? Because you're the one doing it by yourself. So you don't have to wait for anyone else to do something because you're going to be doing it anyways. So really, you hold yourself accountable, right? Um, now, cons, a lot more work, obviously. It's going to be a lot more work because you have to do everything on your own. Um, another con is no one's really there to, to help you, you know what I mean? So when you are when you get stuck and you don't know what to do, you don't really have anyone to help you out, you know what I mean? I mean, obviously, you do have people you can go on the dev forum and ask or you can, um, you can go on the, you know, What's it called? Like my Discord server and ask. Link down in the description, by the way. Um, you can go there and ask. Um, but obviously, you know what I mean. No one's directly there with you, watching everything you do uh, and wanting to help you, right? Um, but you can ask for help, obviously. And also, no one's there to really motivate you, right? No one's saying, "Yo, get this done." You know what I mean? No, no one's like holding you accountable for the game. It's just you, you know, versus you know your game, right? It's just you and your game. That's it. All right. And um, cons. Wait, what? What, what am I saying here? I don't, okay, I don't know why I added this here. This makes no sense. You, it's, you don't have to wait for other devs. Um, okay, I don't know why I added that part. I, <laughs> I wasn't thinking there. But anyways, those are the cons, right? Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are pros versus cons. Obviously, there are more than a pod to figure out all of them. Uh, there's probably some more you can add on, on each side. But uh, these are just some of them ones I thought off the top of my head. So yeah. So obviously, as you can see, though, it, it depends on person to person what you want to do. Sometimes it's going to be a solo dev. Sometimes it's not. It really is up to you personally. Um, if you like working alone, then work alone. If you don't, then don't. I mean, it's as simple as that. Don't feel don't feel bad giving up money either. You know what I mean? It, it's not a bad thing uh, if you don't want to share your percentage of the game with someone else. Um, so yeah. And um, yeah. Also, if your game ever does become successful, you can always hire the people. You can always hire other people toward the end. So yeah. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it, though. Um, as you can see, it's up to the person. All right. So obviously, there's some pros and cons. But either way, I hope I hope this helps you decide whether what you whether you want whether or not you want to be a solo dev. And uh, either way, obviously, I wish you the best of luck. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, though, guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more Roblox game development videos like this one and also leave a like if it's helped you out i'd appreciate it a lot uh anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace